Kathy and I have been hiking the north unit of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park this morning and it is quite a beautiful part of the country to see if you've never been here. There's this jaw-dropping valley here with the Little Missouri River going through it and meandering here and there amongst all the beautiful trees and sand formations to behold and then there's another valley right next to it filled with all the strata, different colored rocks that have collected over the eons and it's really a beautiful place. And anyway, not only have I been enjoying the beautiful scenery all around, I've also been enjoying some enlightened spiritual point of views. <laughs> In particular, one thought that came to me, which helped me find a lot more peace about the upcoming presidential election being held here in the United States in November. In my experience, I have a lot of friends who are on opposing sides of this election. Some friends are over here and this is what they believe and this is the party they support and some of my friends are over here and this is the party they support and this is what they believe and if you were to put these two groups of people into the same room I don't know if they could even talk civilly to each other. <laughs> I personally prefer not to get caught in the middle of that kind of discussion or part of that kind of political rancor. I would like to keep my friendships intact long after this election is held. So how do you deal with that though? Because there is sometimes a temptation to take sides, you know, either here or either there. To help find my peace of mind about this, I thought back to the Bible and the two great commandments, Jesus Christ stressed them, the two most important things in life above everything else that you do on earth is to love God with your whole heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. And I thought before deciding which party I support or who I agree with and who I don't, the first thing is to love God with my whole heart and to bring that love to all of my relationships with my friends. That's the most important thing for me to be doing. So that has helped me tremendously in realizing that God is not partisan. With God there are not two sides. There's just one side, the side of love. So that's the side I'm going to stand on over the next few days and weeks as this election unfolds to side with a side of love and see the good in all of my friends no matter what side of the political spectrum they happen to stand on. Now on election day I will open up my ballot and check off a candidate and I suppose someone could say, oops Evan right there you became partisan. However, that's just part of the democratic process, isn't it? That we all have to vote and we have that privilege and right to vote. But when I check off that box, I'm also going to have in my heart a deep respect for my neighbor's right to check off the box that they have decided to check off without me looking over their shoulder and telling them they're either right or wrong. We are all children of God. We all share one mind of love. And the more we can learn that and demonstrate that, the sooner we'll all come together on common ground and work together as one despite whatever party we happen to support. With God, again, there aren't two opposing sides. There's just one side, the side of love. God is not partisan. God is love. And that's what I'm going to strive to demonstrate more of during this election process.